Hey there. Uh, today I am working on an InFocus. has a problem where it's giving a fan error. Uh, this particular model is a... This is a Screenplay 7205. When the customer turns it on, they get a flashing indicator light, which is on this panel here. They get a flashing light there indicating that there's a fan failure and it shuts right down. There's three fans in here. Three fans built into the unit, I should say. You have these two exhaust fans. There's a blower fan down in there. And then the fourth fan, which is not part of the projectors, this one here, this blower fan is actually part of the, uh, the lamp or the cage. It's bolted to the side. Uh, it wasn't bolted on correctly and the contacts here were not lining up with the connection inside the projector. And that connection is right here. These little brass tabs, they line up with those tabs on the lamp so that when the lamp drops in those tabs hit against these and the fan runs. Either these tabs were pushed down over the years from lamps being put in, maybe pushed in too hard, or possibly the circuit board on one of the lamps at some point was sitting down too far and it just kind of squished them. You can see that they have a little angle to them here. You can see right there, it kind of goes in an S shape. So fortunately with this one, all I had to do was rebend these, clean them up, and burnish them a little bit so they get a better connection. And uh, this should be fine. I'm going to put it together now and try it out. So I'll show you what happens after that. Before I put this back together, I actually want to point out a few things. Uh, sometimes as these projectors get older, the, uh, the white metal inside, you can see it starts to flex from the heating and cooling and it starts to crack. Crack right here. Have a crack down in this support and it's, it's a little crack down in there. Now, the integrity seems okay. Obviously, I wouldn't try hanging on it or anything. And in this situation, I'm going to leave well enough alone. I'm not going to try and straighten anything or disassemble and reassemble that part. It actually might cause more of a problem than it'll fix. But you still want to check and make sure there's no actual loose pieces. If any of this breaks free, metal there so if any of that breaks free and hits a circuit board or you know gets into a power supply or something that could cause some problems but since it's you know only cracked a little bit I'm gonna leave it alone it'll be okay but I'm still gonna clean it up and see on the the color wheel the shroud there it's pretty dusty I already cleaned the wheel off but I want to clear that that shroud off there so that uh, that dust doesn't build up more and get into something where it could damage. So all I'm going to do with that is just use a dry Q-tip down the bottom. I'm just going to knock this all loose here, and I'll get some air and blow it out. Now I'm going to put the top on. There's three connections for the top. We have one connection that goes here. That's for the keyboard or control panel then there's actually another connection here. This is for a speaker. It shows four pins but it only uses two and then there's a connection for the fan and that goes here. Um, that's that jumper wire right here that runs from the pieces that I fixed or rebent down the wire to that plug.
top just drops right back on. It's actually pretty nice. In focus is a lot like Macintosh. If you know how to take them apart, it's not hard at all. But they are a bit of a puzzle. You can see the uh, whole back comes off. And then there's a piece that goes here, a strip. You can see it goes into those holes there. That locks the top one, and then there's uh, there's actually only four screws that hold this whole thing together. Uh, most of it's through clips and things like that. And the screws are just a pair of T10s. And the back panel goes on the same way. Two T10s. And then the last reassembly bit is that strip that grows across the top here. Just snaps in. Pull the lamp out and check those pins again. Then we'll try it out. And there's that fan that's part of the lamp. There's a lamp right there. And there's those tabs. So those contacts hit those tabs, makes the fan go. Right, I get a signal, signal cable. All right, I get the power cable. Turn the power on. You should get a green light, yep. As you can see, it came on no problem. Light solid green, that means it's in run mode. I saw the light come on. It's on the splash screen. I'm going to power it down and set it up for actual testing, but I suspect everything's fine with this. There you go. How to fix a bad connection for the lamp fan on an in-focus screenplay 7205. Thanks for watching.